All right, we're back. So let's get on the right screen. Slideshow. Okay. All right, so back to the different types of anemia. Let's go back up here just in case you thought I went too fast. Um, okay, so we're reviewing here. We've got a normal mean cell volume. We've got a normal mean cell hemoglobin. And we've got a normal mean cell hemoglobin concentration, meaning a normal hematocrit. But our red cells are low. So basically, this can be from sudden blood loss or chronic diseases. Um, a lot of times, this would be our anemia of chronic disease, like a malignant cancerous, chronic infection, or chronic um, autoimmune disorders. So basically, chronic condition and or kidney failure or uh, uh, bleeding, sudden bleeding. And this one is everything's low. So this one, just looking at it, it would be our chronic blood loss again and iron deficiency anemia. If uh, iron is lacking, then our blood lacks adequate healthy red blood cells to carry enough oxygen to our tissues. So that was that's that one. Also, it could be um, any type of uh, common blood loss. Heavy menstruation, intestinal bleeding are the two biggies, our GI bleeds from tumors, ulcers, or diminished production of hemoglobin. And so this is the newer one that wasn't in the last one. This one can be very confusing. So here we've got high red cell volume. So means the average size of the blood cell, they're there, and there are a high number of them. And the MCH, so we have high amount of hemoglobin, or average amount of hemoglobin is fine. And then we have the uh, normal mean cell uh, hemoglobin concentration would be hematocrit, but yet our blood, red blood cells are low. So this one is usually our pernicious anemia and our folate deficiency anemia. This, these are more of the dietary ones. Uh, folic acid is an essential vitamin required for RNA and DNA synthesis within the erythrocyte itself increased amounts needed in pregnant and lactating women and that's why when you look at prenatal vitamins for the most part they are loaded with folic acid um, and then we know the vitamin b12 comes from a deficiency in the in the gut so this would usually be a low folate or vitamin b12 deficiency chemotherapy is going to cause this also Okay, and then I think we already went over uh, the epigen, giving epigen to an anemic patient with lymphoid cancer. We used to think um, that this is what we needed to do because they're all anemic because the, the chemotherapy is killing all cells. Well, research showed us that erythropoiesis stimulating agents such as all of these shortened overall survival and or increased the risk of tumor progression so it was like it was feeding the tumor that was growing. Um, patients with breast, non-small cell lung, so chest, head and neck, lymphoid and cervical cancers. So they're very, very, very cautious. I think for the most part, it helps with some of the blood cancers and the leukemias, but then there you go, you see lymphoid down there. So they, they tread water very carefully now in giving epigen which basically epigen is going to increase the erythropoietin hormone and have the, um, the bone marrow respond to that. Well, if you've got a very sick bone marrow, then you can be speeding up the cancer. Anyway, it's something to think about. And so I'm going to end with reviewing anemia's causes because we've been kind of all over the board in this, and this just kind of puts it all together for you. It's through three main reasons. Inadequate production of erythrocytes or red cells, excessive destruction of erythrocytes, or blood loss. And so our inadequate production of erythrocytes would be our altered hemoglobin synthesis through iron deficiency anemia, thalassemia, anemia of chronic disease, altered DNA synthesis resulting from deficient nutrients, which is all going to be those that are coming basically from the gut and food, vitamin B12 and folate. And then our bone marrow infiltration, which is always going to be the cancers and lymphoma. Um, excessive destruction of erythrocytes, like why are they being destroyed? 
Hereditary hemolysis is that sickle cell trait or disease that we talked about. And acquired hemolysis can be from immune mechanisms, uh, blood transfusion reactions. It's like, why are we having a reaction um, to the blood transfusion of somebody else's? It's our immune mechanism is kicking in and for whatever reason, it's not compatible with that blood. An infection through malaria or clostridium, as a number of drugs can uh, kick off um, destroying erythrocytes. Uh, quinidine, we know penicillin is PCN and methyl dopa, but not everybody. Obviously, a lot of people take methyl dopa for Parkinson's and other neurological disorders and penicillin. Liver or kidney disease, that's a given because of coagulating factors, and we know the erythropoietin with the um, kidney. And then toxins for chemicals, venoms, um, like from bites, like a snake venom can definitely kill you through. And this is one of the properties that it kills you through. And then of course, any bleeding. Acute would be hemorrhage, trauma, car accident, any trauma, airplane accident, and then chronic uh, GI bleeding, meaning it, it doesn't always have to be a, a cancer. It can be a, a slow GI bleed from Crohn's disease or um, a, an ulcer, a bleeding ulcer, and then menorrhagia, very, very common in younger women that they can have uh, an anemia through they're losing too much blood with their menses as opposed to what they're supposed to be losing. Okay, and that is the end of our anemia presentation. So hopefully this helped you a little bit and write some notes down. And those of you that are going to the hospital, have some fun with it. Look at the CDC or this uh, complete blood count complete blood count and especially if you have a patient that has anemia you know see if you can figure it out and if not circle it copy it um, don't take it out of the hospital if it has any indicators on it we'll all be in trouble but write down the amounts of um, mch mcv mchc and we'll see um, let's see what we can come up with all right thank you and i'll see you in class Bye bye